Hi Cancer, this reading is for you if you just recently broke up or had a fallout with your significant other. I'll do three spreads. In the first spread, the situation spread, we'll see uh, what happened between you and the person you're dealing with. In the second spread, the advice spread, we'll see what's recommended for you in the situation. And in spread number three, the new love spread, we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Cancer, let's see what uh, happened. Uh, we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Seven of Swords. Uh, we have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the High Priestess. We have the Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. We have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, and uh, Pisces on the table. So, yeah, the first card I came out is the Queen of Pentacles. I don't think you are the Queen of Pentacles, Cancer, right? Yes, we can all embrace the energy of pretty much any king or queen, but in this case, um, this is either the person you were dealing with, or it could be uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other running away from you with this Queen of Pentacles. So it could have been an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of earth in their chart, or perhaps this person uh, works with finances, they could be an entrepreneur themselves, right? And uh, they're clarified by the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater, it's a card of a deception, it's a deception, it's a card of somebody who runs away, right? And uh, then we have the Eight of Wands clarified by the High Priestess. The Eight of Wands uh, could have been trouble, or it could have been a lot of communication between uh, them and uh, that Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess clarifying it could have been a Pisces you know, but the High Priestess is a card of secrets alright so you, there was some kind of a secret obviously there was something going on behind your back and you just didn't know about this the Eight of Cups right next to the deck I think this is them walking away from you right and uh, the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck uh, it could be you sitting in this energy right now and uh, perhaps you're still grieving over this because the Five of Cups is a card of grief. It's a card of always uh, that has something to do with the past. Perhaps you had your hopes set really high for that person but uh, they left you. That's what we have so far. Let's take a look at the advice spread just in case. Here's the advice for you, Cancer. Uh, we have uh, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Five of Wands. We have the Two of Swords and the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. I think the advice for you is to um, don't fight this. Uh, this person was not for you. I think it's time for you to move on. Right? Um, yeah, the Two of Swords right next to the deck, I think this is the most important card in this reading. The Two of Swords, in this case, either a card that says uh, no more, right? or stop doing what you're doing, which pretty much is the same thing. And what you're doing is uh, you struggling with this, right? And you're sitting in that energy. You're unable to get out of that, right? The hangman on the bottom of the deck is a card of stagnation, nothing happening. Uh, this only, there is only one thing happening, you struggling with this. Perhaps you're beating yourself up, perhaps you're trying to understand what happened, or if that was your fault what happened, or if they're ever going to come back, you know, you're just sitting in that energy. The Nine of Wands, the first card I came out is a card of a wounded warrior. Then we have the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Five of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden, something that's tough, something that's taken a toll on us. And the Five of Wands, clarifying it, I think this is your internal struggle. Again, Cancer, you're beating yourself up, trying to understand what you did wrong. Okay, or you're just... It's like you're resisting this in some shape or form. So again, I think it's time for you to stop this. You're wasting your time on this, right? Time is the most precious thing we have. And uh, I know it's easier said than done, but I think it's time for you to move on. All right, and we're moving on as well. Uh, spread number three is uh, new love coming towards you in the near future. Here's the third spread. Cancer, this is new love coming towards you in the near future. Say a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. Uh, we have uh, the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Fool. We have uh, the Chariot, clarified by Strength. We have uh, the Six of Wands, clarified by the Two of Cups. And we have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo. 
perhaps even another Cancer or pretty much any Zodiac sign. I clarified every single card including yours, the Chariot. The Chariot is your major arcana card, hoping to see some court cards, but uh, it's not too shabby either. Um, the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is um, a hint as to how you may already know this person or will know this person. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaborations. For some of you, it could be somebody you work with or do business with. This person could be working in the same building. Perhaps uh, this person works for another company and the company you work for um, does business with them. For others of you, the Three of Pentacles could be somebody who is in your gym, somebody who is in your yoga class, somebody who is in your hiking group or something like that. You get the idea, right? So somebody who comes from a group set environment. Then it could be somebody who is already in it or it could be a new person joining your um, circle of friends or somebody who joins the gym or somebody who starts working for the same company you work for. Right, then the, yeah, the Ace of Cups, the first card that came out is all about love, genuine, authentic love, all right? And this guy fight by the full could, could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the full is a card of taking a leap of faith and not even thinking twice, <laughs> Cancer. It's uh, It may also feel like a breath of fresh air with the full card. Perhaps with the full card you'll finally let go of what happened to you in the past because you're going to be so consumed by this new love that uh, whatever happened to you with that other person, you'll be like, you know what, that is ancient history. You know, I don't even care about that anymore. Right? Uh, like I said earlier, the chair, the next card over is your major arcana card. That's you, unless you're dealing with another cancer. And as I was clarifying the chair, I actually asked how, what does cancer need to do or what is going on here? And the strength card showed up, right? Strength could be a Leo you're dealing with or somebody with a lot of Leo in their chart. Strength could be a card of passion, it could be a card of courage, or it could be a card of loyalty, okay? It could be a card of loyalty, because uh, perhaps this new person is going to be loyal to you, and that's what you needed to know. The, f the person in the previous part was definitely not loyal to you, right? This person seems like they will be, okay? So perhaps this is just the way of the universe to tell you that don't worry, to let go of what happened to you in the past and embrace the future with this new person. And uh, then we have the six of ones clarified by the two of cups. So there you are embracing <laughs> the future. The six of ones is a card of victory, success. It's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. It's a card of attention. You definitely have this person's full and uh, undivided attention. And back in the day, the six of ones used to be called the proposal card, by the way. Yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, and there the two the two of cups got find the six oh one there's two people in there right that's you and this new person um, or somebody who is already in your life right uh, all depends on your situation the, the the two of cups always talks about um you know when two people are on the same page two people feel the same way towards one another it's a soulmate card it's a card of unconditional love it's just an amazing card right again I, it feels like you the two of you will click right away perhaps you may hesitate for a quick second because of the loyalty issues, because of what happened to you in the past, but don't worry. You know, don't worry, it's going to be all right. This looks good. This really looks good, uh, Cancer. We have three major arcana cards on the table. One of them is your major arcana card. It's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own rating. All right, so yeah, and this person does love you with that Ace of Cups. It's genuine love. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Cancer. For this reading, for this month, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing month.